Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the surface area of a triangular prism. Here we have a triangular prism, and let's go ahead and give these sides some lengths. Let's say that this orange side has a length of 4. Let's say that this green edge also has a length of 4. Okay, the blue side, length of 2. And then we'll say that the height of the prism is 3. Okay. So, you'll notice that we haven't specified the angles on the interior of this triangle. And we also don't know the height of the triangle. So, using only the three sides, we need to find a way to calculate the area of the top part of this triangular prism. And it just so happens that there is a formula to do so. It's known as Heron's formula. Where the area is equal to the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Where here, a, b, and c correspond to the three sides of the triangles, which we'll label in just a second. And s, known as the semi-perimeter, is equal to a plus b plus c over 2. So let's go ahead and give these some labels. It doesn't matter which side you label what, as long as you are consistent throughout the problem. So we'll call the orange side A, we'll call the blue side B, and we'll call the green side C. And the yellow edge is not relevant for this computation, so we'll leave that out for now. So let's go ahead and start computing these numbers. A plus B plus C, we get 4 plus 2 plus 4, all over 2. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 over 2 is 5. Great. So then let's start plugging numbers into this formula. We get the square root of 5 times 5 minus A, where A is 4. times 5 minus b, b is 2, times 5 minus c, which is also 4. Okay, let's continue this computation down here. So, 5 minus 4 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 5 minus 4 is 1 again. Multiply all this out. 5 times 1 times 3 times 1 is simply 15. We get the square root of 15, which does not reduce. Okay, so now we know the area of the top triangle and the bottom triangle. They're both square root of 15. So the total surface area, which we will abbreviate with SA, is equal to the area of the top plus the area of the bottom, which we already know. plus the angle of this side right here, which we'll call the green C side, plus the A side, plus blue B side. All right, so let's start computing these numbers. The top we know is square root of 15, easy enough. Same thing with the bottom, square root of 15. The C side, you see we have 4 times 3, the height of the prism, which is 12. Then we need to add the A side, which is also 4 times 3, so we get 12 again. And finally the B side which is a length of 2 times a height of 3, which is 6. Cool. 
So now we just need to add all this up to get our final answer. Square root of 15 plus square root of 15 equals 2 square root of 15. 12 plus 12 is 24, plus 6 is 30. And there's a final answer. 2 squared 15 plus 30. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to compute the surface area of a triangular prism.